How you going guys? Nathan Appo here for Deadly Choices TV. Obviously exciting to be back. I've been away for a while. Uh, today we're going to have a chat to Nico Hines uh, from the Melbourne Storm. Uh, we are act- act- lucky enough to um, sign a partnership with the Melbourne Storm. Uh, created some amazing health check shirts that we're going to be rolling out around the country. And it's great to be able to have some amazing ambassadors attached to that as well. Um, obviously really important times at the moment going in and getting your vaccine jab if you haven't yet looking after our friends and family We've got a few photos here from uh, a few of the mob who have been going in getting the jab looking after their family and friends Tracy there yeah Jada down to Yuli Buraba there's a the man JT in the smile look at him Talika Clancy our very own uh, silver medalist and Jackson Canuto, my favourite. That's my favourite right there. So, Kieran Chilcott, CEO from um, Kelvin Development and Byron as well. So, yeah, great to see everyone going in. You know, important, if you do go get the jab, post up a photo to our Instagram, Facebook or Twitter, tag us in and we'll definitely share it. So, uh, yeah, now we're going to have a chat to Nico Hines. Very exciting times. And um, here we go. And joining with me is uh, Nico Hines from the Melbourne Storm. How are you, brother? Good, bro. How are you going? Yeah, good lad. Um, who's your mob? Where are you from? Uh, from the Rajuri tribe in Griffith there, uh, but I also like to represent the dark and junk people of the Central Coast in uh, Yamina Beach. Yeah, nice. Hey, um, we had a quick little chat when you were in um, Origin Camp uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, must have been good to be a part of um, the Origin um, series this year and um, also, I guess, uh, get the win too. Yeah, it was. It was a really good experience for myself. You know, it's something I'd didn't think that I would uh, get to be a part of so soon in my career. And, um, you know, I was really grateful for the opportunity, learn a hell of a lot, and I'm um, just trying to take that into my routine and my everyday training uh, at the moment. So, um, yeah, it was good and good to be a part of an Origin Series win. Yeah, so we, we've got a partnership, Deadly Choices, with the New South Wales Rugby League, and we're lucky enough to even, uh, you know, sign up with um, the Melbourne Storm, going to do some amazing things down in um, Melbourne, uh, Victoria, and and up here all around Queensland with all of our partners. A um, few weeks ago, we were able to create a, a Deadly Choices Melbourne Storm shirt that the boys were repping up in Brisbane for the captain's run. Um, yeah. I guess it a, must, must be great to know that we we're able to have this partnership and really create uh, an amazing shirt that's going to get our mob into uh, our Aboriginal health services to complete a 715 and, and look after their own health. Yeah, it is for sure. And all the boys were loving it. Uh, they were rocking it very proudly as well. And, you know, it, it excited me and Joshy and Remus, the, uh, the Aboriginal boys in the team, that to see how much they really enjoy wearing the shirts. And, um, you know, it's opening those, the guys' eyes who aren't Aboriginal in our about uh, Choices program. And, um, you know, it's something special you guys are doing. And um, we're, we're grateful to be a part of it and, and hopefully keep spreading the message because it's a, a really good concept. And, um, you know, everyone's got to look, got to look after their health. Uh, it was funny. Um, I think we were supposed to get the shirts back and everyone sign them. And um, Melbourne Film said, "Nah, that actually they want to keep them." So <laughs> it, was, it was actually pretty good. And um, it was funny seeing um, Munster there um, having a bit of a joke with uh, the lady who was you know, giving him a COVID test. Uh, he's wearing the shirt as well. So it's good to see the boys are being, you know, being able to embrace it. And um, you know, and and also I think you know, with you guys as role models and you having the platform you are, I think. Um, the mob are going to see the shirts and they are they are different from um, all of our other clubs as well. It's an amazing design, great colours and such a, you know, you guys are doing so well at the moment as well. So it's a, I guess it's a great incentive uh, for mob to go get their 715, isn't it? Yeah, it is for sure. And uh, you can't really get the shirts off the boys at the moment. We um, <laughs> have our, our usual training kit, but most of the boys wear the Deadly Choices ones to the gym now or just even around the uh, facilities here at um, Noosa. So... Yeah, it's an amazing concept and, um, you know, I just love seeing the boys wear it around and, you know, it's just spreading spreading the message and, and um, yeah, all well, the mob are seeing that and uh, I'm sure they'll be very proud of it. Yeah, no, I think it's um, it's, a, it's a great incentive and um, it's it's good to see some of the mob, you know, already hitting us up. We, we posted a few photos up and I know that you guys wore them for Captain's Run and my phone was running hot, bruh. It's just like, can you get me yeah, this? I want that shirt <laughs> ASAP. So it's definitely doing the job. It's going to get our mob into our health services, complete a 715 health check and look after their own health. So it's a great initiative. Yeah, for sure. um, also, um, you, you, you were telling me earlier that you are up in Noosa. How, how is um, the bubble and, and being up at Noosa at the moment? Yeah, it's really good. It's um, a really nice resort here. We have, you know, we, we get it to ourselves. So the other teams at um, other places have to share with other teams. So 
not sure how that's going, but you know, we have a really good um, connection and, and good group here at the Melbourne Storm, and we make sure we look after each other, checking in with each other, um, you know, just making sure that we're all doing okay, similar to what you know that you guys try to do with the Deadly Choices, and um, you know, we're just really enjoying our time together, and it's kind of showing on the field. But um, in saying that, we're thinking of everyone in lockdown. You know, we we're not having it too tough compared to some people. So we make sure we're um, you know, having some gratitude about that and, and, and really thinking about the people who are doing it tougher than us at the moment. Yeah. I mean, I guess, uh, you know, looking after your own mental health, but also, you know, people around you as well, the, the players. And um, I have no doubt that you've got friends and family checking in on you as well. I, I guess, um, how are you looking after your own mental health, um, you know, and, you know, your, your own well-being within um, camp? I guess it's, it's great that you've got your players around you and, um, you know, you're training, you know, a majority of the time and you're pretty focused on the, the premiership and, and the season this year. But um, how do you um, look after your own mental health away from everyone as well? Yeah, I, um, the way I try to look, look after myself is by helping other people. Um, mm. You know, when I'm sitting in my room feeling, you know, a little bit down that, uh, you know, we're not at home or we're not out and about doing things like everyone else. I just kind of think about other people in, in my team who are going through a little bit worse than I am. They've got still family and kids down in Melbourne who they haven't seen in a long mm. time. So the way I try and help myself is by helping other people. And I get a lot of joy and pleasure out of knowing that I'm trying to help other people and in, in, in my team or, you know, even just sending a message away to my friends and family. But, um, you know, when I'm feeling like I'm having a, a little down day, I'll just pick up the phone and ring my brother or my dad and my mum, you know, and, and um, just have a yarn to those guys. And we just, we play a lot of cards here as well. Um, we would spend a lot of time trying to take people's monies and cards. <laughs> um, <laughs> Blackfellas in our cards, trying, they will love it. Yeah. And I'm just trying to educate myself. Um, you know, I've got a, a laptop and just try and get on and educate myself in other sorts of things just to, to make sure I'm keeping the mind busy rather than um, thinking yeah. about other sorts of stuff that could uh, impact my mental health. Must be also okay too um, to have a couple of characters in your team too, like Brandon Smith and <laughs> Munster who are always playing up and playing jokes on everyone. Um, must be refreshing to have guys like that around the club, though. Yeah, it is. It, it always makes it a bit easier when you have those sorts of guys playing jokes on everyone and um, going at it with Craig Bellamy 24-7. So. <laughs> and you got Fo- you got Foxy as well, who just brings an yeah. unbelievable sort of energy to the club. He's always up and about, laughing, doing whatever he does best. And, um, yeah, you know, it it's makes it a little bit easier when you have those sorts of players in the team that you can muck around with. And, um, you know, you see a smile on their face, it can put a smile on your face pretty easy. Um, had an outbreak season, bro. Um, obviously, you know, being called into the Origin squad and um, really sort of at the moment, I, I think you've been one of the form fullbacks in the competition. Um, you know, what does it mean to you to be able to play this kind of footy on the big stage and, you know, representing your family and your, your community um, and, and doing such a great job this year? Yeah, it's it's pretty big, you know. You never, I went through a stage of my life where I thought that, this would never happen and um, I'm just so proud that I can do that for my people and my family, um, you know, in the, in the town of, of Yamina and Wuwui as well where I grew up and I hope just to really inspire people of that town and community so they can try and um, reach their goals one day and, you know, I'm just really grateful that I've got the opportunity right now to play for the Melbourne Storm and, and be in this great team and, you know, I reckon in what, how many years' time that everyone look back at this team and being one of the great teams and, and I'm just grateful I'm being a small part of it and um, yeah just really enjoy my footy and hopefully to continue it for the rest of the year and have a good finals run and um, you know say goodbye to this great club yeah well you've been a great ambassador for the club and and for our people and I hope you continue to wherever you go I, I know that you're moving on next year but um, excited to hopefully keep doing some work with you um, Olympics just finished a um, bit of a curveball um, we've been glued to the the screens like everyone else watching the Olympics if you're an Olympian what sport would you be playing or competing in? Oh, um, that's a great question. I used to do a bit of high jump when I was was young. Oh yeah, I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> I really enjoy watching the swimming though. Like they they done outstanding for us this year, um, especially all the females too. So they done a wonderful job. But um, I don't know. I would like to be a swimmer, but if not, high jump, I reckon. Yeah, we were um, we're having a chat with um, a Deadly Choice Ambassador Taliqua Clancy tomorrow too. I thought you would have thrown in a bit of beach volleyball or something too. Yeah, she got the sil- she got the silver a couple of days yeah. ago. So excited to have a chat with her tomorrow, but I'm good to see you doing beach volleyball or something too. Yeah, I would love that. It's in the sun all day, every day. Yeah. <laughs> Tough gear, eh? Hey? Yeah. Um, Shout out before... to um, Hey Mills, though. Eh? He, he oh. killed it, didn't he? And I, I think that he 
he's done an amazing job for Indigenous Australians. I think everyone would have been glued to, to watching him play. And, and he's picked up a, a contract with the Brooklyn Nets. So I don't really watch much basketball, but I'm a Brooklyn Nets uh, man now. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm the same. I was, on, I was straight on looking for a Brooklyn Nets jersey straight away. Yeah, That's my I'm, team next year. <laughs> yeah, I don't follow yeah. NBA that much, but yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. Brooklyn all the way with KD in that yeah, now. Sure. So, and Patty. But yeah, I mean, even with him, you know, um, he, he always acknowledges where he comes from. He's talked about community, his culture. I mean, it, it must rub on to, you know, all the other Indigenous athletes, say, just know how, how passionate he is. Yeah, it has to. And even that um, interview we done after, yeah. I think it was, and just the raw emotion he had. And, you know, it gives me goosebumps now just thinking about it, how yeah. passionate he is for Australia and his people. And I think he was even um, given a certain amount, what, 1.5 mil or something to the black community as well and yep. far out that's just that's just amazing and it, it's going to inspire um you know us as athletes as well ab- aboriginal people to, to try and follow his footsteps and help out as much as we can and, and inspire the young indigenous people 100 percent. i think we can all do a have, we all have a part to play within our community and um he's doing his you're doing yours and um it's great to see just you know um you know indigenous athletes who have got a platform just doing doing that you know playing their role and, and doing whatever they can um before we finish up, um, obviously, you know, we're talking about deadly choices. You know, when you make a healthy choice, you make a deadly choice. Um, brothers, what's a, a healthy choice or deadly choice that um, that represents yourself? Um, you know, uh, I know Preston Campbell, he always talks about um, the importance of um, getting sleep. He likes to get eight to ten hours sleep every day. Um, I know yeah. myself, it's around exercise and drinking lots of water. What's, what's something that, um, that identifies yourself with, um, you know, making a healthy choice, making a deadly choice? Yeah, I think being in uh, the sport we are, we we uh, our bodies get banged up a hell of a lot in training and, and game day. So I try to do as much recovery as possible. I have it stick to a routine, which I wake up every morning and if I'm near a beach, I'll go down the beach and uh, do some recovery in there. Or if I'm near a pool, I'll make sure I jump in the pool and uh, and that starts off my day really well. So if I'm starting off my day really well and to my routine, then I know I'm going to finish or go through the day you know, not worried about or having any other stresses. So just getting up uh, every day, having some time to myself and just really, um, you know, starting off that day really well and, and recovering as much as I can. So I'm at my peak performance every training session and every game day as well, I think. Two deadly bros. Thanks um, for sharing. It's, um, it's, great. it's great for us to be able to have a chat to you fellas, you know, give us a bit of an insight about how you're going and, and definitely with our community, you know, they um, definitely identify with uh, – a lot of our um, sporting stars. So uh, any chance we get to have a chat with you, we always appreciate it. So, hey, lad, um, thanks very much. Um, enjoy uh, the next few weeks. Um, hopefully we can probably have a chat with you again soon in the next few weeks. It'd be good yep. to catch up, see how you're going and uh, just check in again. But, um, yeah, thanks for uh, jumping on and talking uh, Deadly Choices and Brooklyn Nets and Olympics <laughs> with us. <laughs> <laughs> and, we're that, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely uh, jump on the bandwagon for next year, eh? You and me for um, Brooklyn Nets. (laughs) That's us. That's us for sure. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Anytime I'll be on.